everyone, I'm Eric Johnson from Airte Throws Nation. And what we're gonna talk about in this video is the concept of the orbit of the throw. Now, when we talk about the orbit, we're typically talking about the path of the implement. So in the case of the discus, we're looking at the high point where we have a low point that's out and around, right? That's gonna be also our radius, but the orbit is going to refer to that high and low point and we're gonna be looking at the position specifically of the shoulders. And one of the most common mistakes that young throwers make is when we're, they're learning to set up separation and stretch reflex. If you haven't seen those videos, check those out. Um, where we see is we get the, the high and the low points come off. So if we're coming into the throw and the orbit gets off, we don't come around into the throw properly and we are having the, the throwers basically are hitting the high points and the low points at the wrong time. And when that happens, it, especially something in the power position, we have that shoulder down, that pulls the shoulders behind the knee and it becomes next to impossible to really get the lower body properly ahead of the implement to get the hips and sequence the throw properly. So one of the most common mistakes I see with a lot of young throwers you'll see is that they're gonna have this high art reaching arm so what you'll see is with this orbit issue, what, we, what we're trying to do is when we set up our throw, essentially there's a high point, so when we come back down, the discus comes low, and then as we push, we hit a, a second high point. That's our sweet looking power position, and then that's gonna bring the implement around and here, and then we're gonna feel that nice toss into the throw. In the rotational shot, you tend to see the same thing. There's a slight lower arm as this hip raises the arm comes up we're going to hit into that point we're going to hit that high point where again this shoulder is slightly higher so it comes around and that allows you to drive around up and out into the throw if you're gliding what you're going to see is the same thing you see that nice big stretch position shoulders are here this is going to create the high arching arm in the glide delivery here's your orbit it pulls down and we create that nice linear finish. So the key thing that you wanna look at is that the orbit is really critical to setting up the throw properly. And oftentimes what you see with beginning throwers, they have that in, in the reverse order. So the difficulty becomes when they're supposed to have a lower point and a higher point to be able to hit the second high point. What they're having is, is they're hitting a low point, they're backing into the throw and they're gonna come off the right leg and this is where you're gonna see sector fouls and jumping and a lot of different things. So just what you wanna be able to do, really pay attention to setting up your proper orbit in your training so that you're gonna get better throws for maximum distance. And a lot of times the big problems center around that. If you don't fix that thing first, you're gonna have a, a very difficult time setting that up and uh, hitting big PR. So if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up subscribe and visit airtaythrowsnation.com for more information. Thanks so much.